Orange County Registered Digital. Hello and welcome to The Huddle. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, and I'm being joined by Pedro Mora, who has been covering the Dodgers all season long for the Register. Pedro, the Dodgers go into Atlanta on Thursday, starting the NLDS. A couple of guys out for the Dodgers, a couple of guys out for the Braves. Who is going to be the unsung hero of this series? I think we got a couple outfield power threats that could end up making a difference with the variation of guys out for both the Dodgers and Braves. Of course, the Dodgers are going to be without Matt Kemp and potentially without Andre Ethier as well. In their place in center field, I think is going to be Skip Schumacher, but could also be a young guy named Scott Van Slyke, who, when he had his chances during the regular season, consistently came up big with home runs at a walk-off homer in, in late August, September. Um, I think Vince Lyke is a guy you could easily say won game three or game four for the Dodgers. We could be saying that in a week or so. Um, for the Braves, I think Evan Gaddis, who he's, his nickname is the Oso Blanco, the White Bear, came it. out of nowhere this year to hit, I think, 21 home runs, is a terrible defensive outfielder, and that's probably why he's not going to start for many games. But as a pinch hitter, I think he's pretty much second to none. So those are two, I think, big time potential impact players for both the Braves and the Dodgers this, this series. And I think we could agree the Dodgers 1-2-3 and their pitching rotation is probably the best in, in all of ma Major League Baseball right now. Definitely a lot better than the Braves, that's for sure. Yeah, and uh, okay, so with all that being said, Pedro, your prediction, who wins and how many games? I think the Dodgers will win it in five. Um, you know, these predictions are obviously volatile and I think uh, well, the one thing I'm sure of is that this is not going to be a sweep um, either way. I think either team could win it in five, and I'd lean towards the Dodgers because of their pitching advantage. I think you're going to end up having Kershaw and Granke starting four of the five games in the series, and that's a pretty big advantage when you're talking about the Chris Medlins, uh, Mike Miners, Julio Terrans of the world, the guys the Braves are going to start against them. They're not slouches, but they're not up to Granke and Kershaw's caliber, and then I think it's going to make the difference. Okay, well, there's Pedro's prediction, and you can catch his stories in the Orange County Register or on ocregister.com. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.